Hi everyone, in my previous video, I have said about the scopes of civil engineering. So in the last video, you have seen about geotechnical engineering. So now we are going to see about the continuation of geotechnical engineering. So here you can see in the wall, they have uh, like so many dust. Right. So how they are cleaning the dust materials and all and even the uh, very polluted places and all even see the spoils the capacity of land. Right. So even proper disposal techniques have to be followed. Proper knowledge of geotechnology is important for the necessary like for the safety and stability of the structures and also for the forthcoming generation of our uh, uh, earth. Right. The, the thing is like for a geotechnical um, uh, thing like engineering so we know that it is associated with soil so here i have given an example of foundation so here you can see the pillar right so this is the pillar this is the column so pillar is said as a column in civil engineering term all the loads are coming to the column to the pillar so that pillar is uh, transforming the loads to the foundation right so the foundation what it is doing means it is just um, uh, like uh, the opposite uh, reactions only makes the build makes the foundation to start in one place right so we have superstructure and substructure that is below the ground level right the next one is hydraulic water resource and irrigation engineering so hydraulic engineering is um, like uh, associated with uh, how to uh, deal with the flow of water mm, so here you can see a screw like uh, with like this is associated like uh, even in the dams you can see the generation of electricity through the force of water water resource means wherever the water is available in nature that should be stored and deviated to the fields right for the sake of irrigation purpose so hydraulic deals with the mechanics of fluid flow right so water resource engineering deals with identification and utilization of available water resource and minimizing the loss so surface water is abundant in uh, like uh, such as river lake water and ground water or like you know that it's naturally available so how to store that and to deviate to the uh, fields and uh, this also deals with the ground water utilization and how to um, recharge the ground water and also about rain water harvesting so here I have given few examples of how to store the water and also through the dams. The dams examples I have pasted here. Kindly have to look on that. Right. Falkirk wheel in Scotland, over dam in US. So you can see it. The next one is civil uh, structural engineering. So in the civil, this is the most important branch. So, structure is like assembling of two or more uh, basic elements such as beam, slab, column, truss, frame, shelf, etc. So, here you can see frames. The frames is having columns, beams and also slabs. Okay. First, they will build foundation and a pillar. After pillar, beams. After beams, slabs. So, what happens means the loads in the slabs are carried to the beams. The loads in the beams are carried to the column and finally it will be sent to the foundation. This is the load transmission. The analysis and design comes under this structural part. This is also deals about the design of reinforced concrete elements and also design of steel structures. So here you can see a gravity load. Gravity load means the load which is falling to the ground. Right. So here you can see the load is being falled to the slab so this slab distribution it's a trapezoidal load distribution is happening uh, to the beams and finally that uh, from the beam um, like again the loads are sent to the columns and again from the column it is sent to the footing right so opposite reactions you can see wherever it uh, opposite reactions only makes the building to stand means uh, the strength produced by the ground these are all the pressures and strength produced by the ground so footings this this is known as footing the foundation part uh, steps are known as footings so here i have a um, for a structural uh, design a very good example like uh, Burj dubai and petronas tower like in malaysia so these are all the examples so here you can see the various um, uh, advancements in the structural engineering field right 
the next uh, this is surveying actually surveying is the first and foremost uh, branch of the civil engineering means it is about uh, to check the, the ground like to uh, to like measure the ground is called a surveying so this is in like um, this is the uh, thing like uh, earlier we used to use chain and uh, tapes for the purpose of surveying but nowadays we are using very digitalized very very digitalized uh, equipments for surveying so while doing road construction it is mandatory that you can see uh, like lot of surveyors will be there in the road so what they will do means they will check for the undulations in the ground and finally they will make the ground leveled so it is like a feasibility um, like um, most suitable method is available in our days and um, it also in, uh, helps in environmental impact assessment okay so here you can see that um, a tripod stand above that they have kept a uh, theodolite theodolite is like a measuring device using this theodolite they will calculate distance this is before few years but nowadays we are using electronic total station this um, this particular total station it will uh, measure more than 50 kilometer distance uh, and everything reports will be um, reports will be like uh, uh, given um, uh, digitally and also here you can see that this is a very old uh, um, uh, this is like female uh, surveying uh, crew right in 19 uh, uh, in 1918 so earlier what they used to do now they will carry a tripod stand they will measure and parallelly they will uh, set a layout uh, layout plan they will carry uh, uh, like uh, uh, they will carry tripod stand uh, that uh, drawing board everywhere wherever they go but nowadays it is not required digitally everything is we are getting through this electronic total station equipment here you can see this is like advanced version this both are advanced versions okay the next one is transportation engineering transportation engineering means it is like a scientific approach means planning designing operation and management of transportation systems like roadways railways waterways and hair roads hairways okay so it is involving like uh, how to maintain the transportation systems already provided and also how to uh, build the roadways railways and uh, pavement systems and all dams uh, like even everything uh, um, uh, like uh, uh, harbors sorry harbors docks uh, like uh, airports and railway systems based on the requirements and also population growth this is a part of the discipline wherever the population is more it is mandatory that we need to build a metro so that everything comes under the transportation engineering so here you can see the cross section of the road so this is sewer pipe this is manual this is carriage bay this is called as curb sidewalk and uh, here you can see electricity cable gas cable water uh, cable and telephone cable right so this is drainage outlet this is how the road cross section looks like here you can see heavy traffic and also here beneath the traffic how what happens you can see right it deals with the transportation systems planning planning and maintaining the highways here i have a small video for transportation engineering This is Palm Island in the is Dubai. Often proclaimed the eighth wonder of the world. A symbol of creativity and ambition, this huge tree shaped island was built from sand, rock, and sheer determination. What keeps it all in place is this 11 kilometer breakwater crescent. Lined with five star hotels, this protective halo has two openings either side that allows the famously clear blue waters to flow with the tide. 78,000 residents call Palm Jumeirah home, living in luxury apartment blocks on the trunk and private gated estates on the fronds. It's also the address of some of Dubai's most exclusive hotel accommodation, from Anantara's overwater villas to Atlantis's underwater suites. Elsewhere, its skyline defining Atlantis, there's a world class water park and a network of aquariums filled with 65,000 marine inhabitants. And for a truly surreal experience, you can even walk among them. Or perhaps you prefer to fly. The latest way to get a bird's eye view of this man made megastructure is in a gyrocopter. Similar to helicopters, these two seat aircraft reach heights of 1,500 feet. Another way to explore Palm Jumeirah is by sea. 
and the 78 kilometer shoreline is dotted with idyllic seaside destinations. The Club Vista Murray's